okay, it is, what is today? Thursday. I had to stop and think about it. I have my treatment today. I've already taken off my patch thingy. Um, yeah. Put my dew up. It's hotter than I'll get out. Oh, I was trying to think of a saying that I heard today and I can't, I, I, I just can't even. I can't even. Um, I'm doing frugal food even though today is not Friday. I will upload this on Friday. Yeah. I usually don't vlog anything on Thursday, but I wanted to do this recipe for y'all for tonight. It is a very frugal meal, and it is a very easy meal. If you need, I always try to plan, excuse me, I always try to plan a very easy meal because I never know how I'm going to feel after my treatments. I don't know if I'm going to feel like being up or um, I can get what's called a gamma headache where it is like excruciating, um, like worse than a migraine, like horrible, um, even when your eyeballs hurt. Blessedly, I didn't get one this time. Um, so, but I always schedule or plan an easy meal that even the kids can pull off, just in case I do have one of those bad days or bad moments, or if I don't feel like cooking. And it's always good to have those good, quick, go-to meals in your pantry or in your freezer anyway, because you never know when you're going to have one of those days, okay? Come on, we're all moms. We all know those days happen. You might have a day where you just don't want to. Um, this is one of those go-to meals, okay? Seriously, you can have it on the table, ready to feed your family. 30 minutes. Um, yeah, 30 minutes. Um, and you can do it with... I've got, I'm sucking on a couple of gummy bears, just to kind of keep that at bay. Um, waiting on my rice to tell you what we're making. Um, oriental teriyaki rice and vegetables. Sounds elegant, doesn't it? Yeah. Any kind of rice. This, I got it. Sam, we love the parboiled rice. Seriously, you can get a five-pound bag, okay, for four dollars and something. And it lasts, this last us, uh, it'll fill up this and then a Ziploc bag. Um, seriously, this lasts us about three months. Every three months, I have to buy another bag of rice. And it's the parboiled rice um it's cheap it is easy it is fail proof you cannot goof up this rice i used to have the only rice i used to could make was minute rice without goofing it up there's no goofing this rice up okay you go ahead and you just mix your water your butt and what i do is i just wrote the instructions on the lid because it comes in a bag. It doesn't come like in a box or anything that you can seal back up. And the bag you can't seal back up. So I just dump it in one of my cereal containers. And I just wrote on here with a sharpie. And seriously, once boiling cover, let simmer for 20 minutes. So you're talking 20 minutes once it starts to boil. Okay? While I'm waiting on it to boil... And I've done this with all kinds of chicken. I've done it with popcorn chicken. Hey, boy. Hey. I've done it with chicken patties. I've done it with chicken nuggets. I have done it with grilled chicken. I've done it with rotisserie chicken. Any kind of chicken you want, okay? It works better with, like, breaded chicken. Um, popcorn chicken is wonderful for this. 
um, we had gotten some Tyson, not Tyson. I was looking for the um, grilled chicken at Sam's, the Members Mark grilled chicken. I'd never gotten it before. It was on instant savings. And it was the mesquite grilled chicken. And I thought, how good would that be? A, to have on hand. B, just to shred up to go on salads. Now that it's so hot. For our days that we can't get to the grill or... If I just want some chicken to go on my salad, I'm trying to get care of it. We're trying to ease off from the fried stuff, you know. Any hoozles, good source of protein. And the man that was there helping me find it wanted to know if we ever tried the Tyson Sweet Teriyaki Chicken. And I'm like, no, we never tried that one. I've never done any of the... The only seasoned chicken we had tried like this was the Tyson Honey Barbecue. That stuff was good. But he swore up and down. He said, you get that and you will never want to go with nothing else. And it's boneless, skinless thighs, fully cooked thigh fillets with teriyaki glaze. Okay? But it's fully cooked. They're grilled, so they're healthier for you. It, one piece is only 140 calories, and they come individually frozen, so you can just open the bag, take out what you want. Me and the girls had someone like, that man had gone to the races a while back, um, last month, I want to say. Yeah, last month. Um, I near about forgot that we had these in there, seriously, and they're roughly... All of them are about the same size. He might come across one puny one. I'm trying to see. I think I'm going to pick out a couple more little puny pieces because that one's puny. I can see some fights happening, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to leave those other little pieces down in there. This will be enough for uh, a lunch for a couple of people. So I am just going to seal this up. We just take out however many you want. I think this bag at Sam's, and like I said, we've done used off of it for a couple of times. Um, and I've still got one more time to go. So go ahead and say we're getting roughly three meals out of it. And I want to say it was like $11. Eleven or twelve dollars. Which, if you think about it, you're, at first you're like, "Oh my gosh, I ain't paying no twelve dollars for no chicken." But then, when you think you got three meals out of it, yeah. So that works out what four dollars a meal for five people. Okay, so four dollars. Um, the rice, she figured a huge thing was four bucks. I'm probably not even using 20 cents worth. Like, seriously. Okay. So, we're our meal, the total for our meal right now is at $4.20. Okay. This is that teriyaki glazed chicken. It's only going to take 25 minutes in the oven. Alright, so it's 20. And our rice is already starting to boil. So, we can start our timer seriously for our 20 minutes. Okay. Popping these bad boys in the oven. I'm putting the lid on our rice. In 20 minutes, supper's going to be ready. Okay? It take you that long to load your heathens up in the car to go somewhere and get something to eat. And you're going to be spending way more than we're, our total right now is at $4.20. Okay? Remember that. Now, we're doing stir fry teriyaki. We need stir fry veggies, okay? Um, all these sells wonderful the oriental bags. I want to say they're like $2.23 something like that. They're $2.23 at Sam's. You can get this big bag. It has five individual bags inside. 
that you can actually steam in the microwave, stir fry mix, and seriously, one bag is enough for five people, is what it says. Not five of the people I know, okay? I would rather my family get filled up on the veggies and use the meat as like a side item, okay? So, I'm, I always have to do two packs of veggies for my fruit. And I have been dropping crap all day long. <laughs> like, seriously. But these are five 16 ounce bags. You can stick them in the microwave. Um, all these sells stir fry vegetables. I know Walmart has their version of stir fry vegetables. You can even use fresh vegetables if you'd like. I mean, you can turn anything into a stir fry. Um, if you had zucchini, um, and I think what I might do is actually microwave these. You can either stir, steam them in the microwave, or you can cook them on top of the stove. I always cook them on the stove, and I've already got my skillet out, so I think that's the way I'm going to roll. Um, but this big bag was like on instant savings for, I want to say it was like $5.68. So, and there are five bags, so let's say a dollar, dollar and ten cents per bag. Okay, I'm using two bags for my family, so we were at four twenty dollars to six so six eighty. We're at six eighty. Is that am I doing the math right? Let's just round it off and say six fifty. We're at six dollars and fifty cents for a meal to feed five adults. Chinese on the table in twenty minutes. Yeah. So to me, this is a frugal meal. It is a frugal meal. A. I didn't go over more than two dollars per person, which is they say is the national average. Yeah. No, not in this household. It ain't. Um. Also. I'm getting it done and on the table in 20 minutes or less. There's little to any effort on my part except getting these veggies out of this bag. It don't want to come out of the bag. Um, there's little of any energy on my part. Seriously. Um, and I will just take this one extra bag of stir fry and this little bit of meat that I have left and that's going to make lunch for somebody one day. We'll probably do that uh, one Sunday for lunch that it's just me and Fat Man and Girl Beth. It'll be a good quick Sunday lunch. Um, So, but here's what those veggies look like. And I'm just going to kind of put them on like medium. And add a little bit of water to them. Um, and seriously, boom, that's going to be supper. I mean, just so simple. I'm going to use this measuring cup I use for my rice. Just something so simple. Um, and if, if I needed one of the kids to have made it for me, they could have made it. I mean, any of them can read some instructions. Okay? Um, and usually, I uh, try to have, I don't know if I have any in, in the fridge open or not. I try to, okay, we have soy sauce. I was going to say, I need my soy. And then... I usually try to have like teriyaki or sweet and sour. Oh, here we go. Teriyaki. I knew I had some. Um, to like, if anybody wants to add it.
I like adding it to my vegetables. And once I, you know, I'm just going to put beds of rice on our plate. And everybody will get their piece of chicken. And then they'll get the vegetables. And this particular bag of veggies, um, it's got the little baby corns. It's got water chestnuts. It's got mushrooms. Um, broccoli. The pea pods. Yeah, all the good stuff. Peppers, carrots. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So, our rice is doing its thing. Our stir fry is doing its thing. And our chicken's doing its thing. Technically, I could go sit my little honey down. I'm just saying. If I wanted to, I could go sit. Um, I know a lot of people had made the comment one time about we had too many carbs in our diet. Um, usually, and this is just kind of a, a known thing here, and I never think about mentioning it. Nine times out of ten, um, we'll do a salad with our meals. But, stir fry nut, I don't. We don't do a salad to go with it. Um, it's just going to be the rice the chicken and then the stir fry vegetables that's going to be the entire <clears throat> excuse me entire meal um and yeah i guess we do eat more carbs i mean you know as far as like rice pasta we don't do it all the time we are more of meat and veggies like your meat and threes farm cooking that's just what I grew up on it's what our kids grew up on um, it's it's what we were used to eating um, yeah and some of the not really convenience foods but the cheaper foods are your carbs your baked potatoes spaghettis pastas um, they're cheap and when you're on a income a, a either fixed income or a low income it's expensive to eat healthy, healthy. No, we are not organic. No, we are not, um, you know, extremely healthy. I mean, always make sure that, yes, there's always some form of fruit in this house. Right now we've got pears. I bought some lemons. I needed, I needed lemon for something. But we always have. We're still floating some grapes. I need to transfer to a smaller container. Um, I've got some romaine lettuce. I need to put in a container. Um, the boy needs to take some of these cherries to work. We're still working on cherries. We're still hanging in there, y'all. Um, let's see what else have we got. Oh, this is going to be my project tomorrow. I need to cut up bell pepper and mix onion with it and cut it up. i got to do that. Yeah, my fridge is a hot mess right now. Um, ooh, I was going to do glazed carrots. So, I need to do glazed carrots tomorrow for supper. Here's some kiwis that got pushed to the back. Those need to be eaten. And plums. We've got a big bag of plums. So, that's going to be our fruits for the week. I mean, that is plenty to get us through. That's like what I was talking about, those pancakes of, you know, I'm not putting fruit on my meal, on my list this week. We've got fruit we need to eat up. So, no, I'm not going to the store to get fruit. Um, but, yeah, for those of you that were concerned that we don't have a well-balanced diet, please don't concern yourself, trust me. We have a well-balanced diet. And the ice cream takes care of dairy. <laughs> but, seriously, it does. None of us like drinking milk. I mean, none of us will actually go... And intentionally get a glass of milk. Fat man will, if he has Chips Ahoy or Oreo cookies. Just see, that's when he'll break out. Talking about none of us will actually go and get a cup of milk. 
No. No. None yeah. of us will intentionally. Yeah, have something go with. Yes. He will get a cup of milk if he has cookies. Cookies? You got cookies? So, no, I don't have cookies. Um, can you go put this in the big freezer, please? Boss, we gotta go get Thank you, my darling. Um, oh, this is my baby girl's little chair. I got her. Isn't that cute? We got it at the thrift store. Like $3. We were looking for a high chair. This is a tip the lady at the thrift store gave me. We went to two separate thrift stores. None of them had high chairs. They had strollers. They had car seats up the yin yang. None of them had high chairs. The last thrift store we went to, she's like, I always put my baby in the chair and tied an apron around her. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. She's like, now you've got to get a cushion that's thick and high enough to raise her up. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And she's like, either like a booster seat. She said, you know, you have like a little car booster seat or something. And I'm like, no. She's like, well, let's look over here and see if we can find like a cushion. They had a bunch of pillows and stuff. And I happened to look down and I saw this little cute beanbag chair. She was sitting on the in it on the floor last night, just precious as she could be. But how perfect is that height-wise? I mean, do you see where I'm going with this? That is perfect height. And you just put her in it. And Lord knows I have an apron. She's like, now if you don't have an apron, and I'm like, stop yourself right there, sweetie, because I have aprons. <laughs> Big girl guy. I don't know why I quit wearing my apron. She used to. It was like part of me. As soon as I got up and dressed, didn't I always put an apron on first? I mean, I was, I had me an apron on. Always. Always. I didn't function without my aprons. But you just take and to divide has been laying in it thinking that it's his. But we had her last night on the floor in the den sitting in it watching TV. But you just take and you just, if she was sitting in it, I would just tie this apron around the chair and boom. You have your high chair. How stinking smart is that? That ingenious in genius she's like well that's what we did back in the old days <laughs> she was an older woman she's like that's what we did back in the old days that's, that's how I did when I took them to my mama's <laughs> and I'm like alright <laughs> that's what we gonna do <laughs> so we ain't buying no hot chair we got us a three dollar frozen bean bag chair that she can sit in in the den watching you know tv or playing honey she was so she's so prissy in it i'll have to see if i can find that picture of her sitting in it i, I can pull it up on my thing but um she was sitting in it and i'd gotten her some um banana puffs those little snack things bless her heart she had been out of snacks Oh my, I, well, I told you about that. Oh my, falling down on her. Oh my job. Um, yeah. I fell down on my, oh my job. I was looking, I was looking. Here she is. Isn't that the cutest thing? I'm showing the picture of Alice Marie sitting in her little frozen chair. Mm. I was telling them about how we got that as her high chair, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And I put it in the chair and tied the apron around it. It's going to work out perfect. Ah, it's going to be perfect.
Mm. So, but yeah, that's how we're going to roll with a high chair. So, but yeah, what did I say? Where it's like $6.50 for a homemade Chinese meal. Um, yeah, yeah. So, think about how you can get creative with um, just some frozen vegetables, some rice. Like I said, I had done this with popcorn chicken. I had done it with chicken nuggets. Um, think about like those seasoned chickens, you know, like the bags. Uh, it's an instant meal. Uh, you know, if you need it in a pinch to go to, it's good to have that. It's cheaper than the drive through How many times have you been, I really don't feel like cooking, or oh my gosh, it's been a day. You never know when you're going to have one of those days. And face it, we all have at some point in time one of those days. I'm trying to get me a fly. And they won't light. How come whenever you get the fly's water, that's when they leave? It's like he knows. Now, I know I see me a dead gum fly. I go and get this water, and now he go. If y'all were wondering what that was, it, these are, it's fly catchers. Wait, for whatever reason, this time of year, they come up out of the woodwork. But the way you get rid of them, get a fly's water. I'm just going to start walking around with fly swatters. Because they'll leave. Yeah, he's just kind of flying around now. He's distracting me. Anywho, um, but yeah, that's our frugal me meal. Um, I did one before of my hunting um, six sisters stuff. Honey glazed chicken. And it literally used popcorn chicken. All these popcorn chicken is amazing. Or the um, Tyson. Yeah, we like Tyson. We don't like Banquet. Banquet has too much pressed meat to it. It, yeah, no, no. Um, but, like I said, this is grilled chicken. It's grilled, you know. Um, another one that's good is the honey battered. We had discovered it. Oh, yeah. That's like real Chinese cooking right there. Like the tempura batter. Isn't that how I say it? Tempura. Is that how they say it, hon? He said, yeah. Anywho. Um, our rice is doing its thing. Our veggies, I need to cut, I need to turn our veggies up, because, oh, we got nine minutes. I need, yeah, I got to boost my veggies up, because I ain't going to be done in nine minutes. My rice will be, my veggies will not, so we going to bump him up. Oh, that is our frugal meal, and I will show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, my chicken is smelling so good. But I was going to tell you, I mean, you can do it. Um, if you have, like, the teriyaki sauce, if you have just, you know, boneless, skinless breast or thighs or even, like, drumsticks, coat your chicken in that and pop it in your oven. You know, and cook it until it's done. But this is like already, mine's already pre-cooked. Um, and it's grilled with the teriyaki glaze on it. It smells so good. Um, we are getting us a thumber, thunder bumper. I can't even talk today. A thunder bumper is what we call it. It is just cracking thunder. Um, like loudly. It has not started raining yet though. But it is, it's that cracking thunder, like, yeah. That's your technical term right there. 
<laughs> say, but we're just, I'm, see, I'm just, supper's cooking. I'm working so hard, y'all. <laughs> um, it's doing its thing. Like I said, it's quicker and cheaper than me floating my honey to uh, take out or something. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to get out in a thunder bumper, no way. Yet yeah, no, no. It's 5:45. That's rush hour traffic. Make my mind crazy. Well, not on that anyway. I, I got one of my peeps. What up, heifer? Let me go talk to this heifer. I'll be back. Okay, supper is done. This is how that rice turned out. Look at that. Perfect. Every time. I mean, seriously. And it's just been sitting here. I've just let it sit. Um whether you let it sit or not I mean it's just amazing yeah yeah I mean you can't screw it up um this chicken smells wonderful look at that it smells so good and it's so easy it didn't get back so that is an easy cheap um alternative Way cheaper than takeout. Faster than takeout. If you figure loading up the heathens, getting in the car, travel time. Yeah. So have those convenience items, if you will. I mean, seriously, it's just long enough for me to have done my rice. And I threw this chicken in the oven to let it do its thing. And boom, there you go. So... I'm fixing a plate up. She's got to go get that man. I'm going to call every girl once I get my plate made. And we're going to eat. Boy had to go to the fire department. So, like I said, we we having a thunder bumper. So, he had to go to the fire department. Yeah. I got a spatula. If I would have known he was going there, I wouldn't have. Well, no, we'll fight over this other piece of chicken. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, let me put my veggies on. I love the little corns. Carabeth don't like the little corn. I'm going to take what would be considered hers. Yeah. All right. Feast your eyes. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? 20 minutes, seriously. And $6.50 for five people. Come on now. So that is your frugal tip. Yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing. There won't be nothing. Share. Play nicely with others. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Okay, supper was delicious. Everybody liked it. Got enough that I was, yeah, yeah. It fed us all except Brian. Like I said, he's at the fire department. But I had one piece of chicken left and these veggies. We've got rice left. And I'm going to tell you what you can do with leftover rice. Notice I didn't put it in the lunch tray. I could. I could send it to work with one of the heathens or heat up for me or Carol Beth. Um, I got these divided trays actually from Amazon, not sponsored, but they're great. You can freeze them. You can microwave them. I'm just going to pop it in the refrigerator. If after a day no one has taken it, I'll put it in the freezer. We've got TV dinners, homemade TV dinners stacked. So, but with my leftover rice, I'm making rice pudding. Yes, ma'am. My grandmother was a girl or a woman of the Depression. Uh, she was born in 1904. She married when she was 18. So, she was a... Uh, my uncle was born in 1930. 
So, she was a woman, a mom, during the Depression. And you didn't throw anything away. My grand, my mother would get on to her because grandmother, I mean, she, she just kept that mindset of you always say things because you never knew what might happen, what could happen, what will happen. You didn't know. Oh, sorry. And that's even true in this day and age. You never know when a sickness or an accident or anything. I mean, you know, you just don't know. Anywho, rice pudding. I didn't think about it until I started scraping it up. And I was going to put it in that to-go plate. And I'm like, mm-mm, no. <laughs> oh, ma'am. It is a nothing here for some rice pudding. If you ain't never had now I'm not one for tapioca. I know that is the nastiest. Whoever came up with that idea needs to be shot. And true southern rice pudding cannot be upheld. Alright, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rice and you're gonna put it into a pie pan. I've got a glass one, it's Pyrex. Do it just like that. Spread it around. See, it was just enough. Now, and I've got it all in there nice and pretty, but it ain't going to stay that way long. Let me do this real fast, and then you can have it. He's, he's going to be sweet and do them dishes for, uh-oh, do them dishes for me. Ain't that sweet of him? He usually does on Thursdays because I have my treatment. He usually does. So, what you gonna do? Set love to man. You gotta love him. Alright, so for this much rice, I'm gonna use two eggs. And I am just seriously gonna just mix it up in the pan I'm gonna cook it in. Now, if I only had just like a little bit of rice, I would have just done one egg. But. And just gonna go ahead and break it up. Break them head yolks up. I'm going. I'm getting real scientific, y'all. Dollop some butter in there. Just kind of about like that. And there's no measuring. I mean, I'm just kind of eyeballing. And you'll see what I mean whenever I get to that point. We're just going to kind of start stirring around. And you're going by consistency. Ooh! Avalanche! It was the plastics container. Jumped out on me. Alexander Shinora. You got to be on. So for this big of a pan of rice, or cake pan, I'm going to use, um, this is a cup of sugar, but I'm not probably going to use the whole thing. I'm going to use, I don't know, maybe half. Alright, three-fourths. We're going to say about three-fourths of it. See, I'm looking at that consistency. We're just going to kind of. Do that butter around. Make sure that egg stirred in. That milk. And then for the secret ingredient. Batman's wanting me to hurry up. So he can get in here and do these. A little bit, just a smidge of vanilla. Okay. That gonna be good right there.
That going to be good right there. A little bit more sugar on top. Just to kind of make a pretty brown glaze. I'm not even going to stir that part in. And that is all there is to rice pudding. That is what you do with leftover rice. Yeah, you make rice pudding. All right, I'm going to stick it in the oven. 350 for about 45 minutes. Um, I'm going to put it on 35. And then I'll come check it and see what we look like. Yeah. Yeah. This is rice pudding. I'm gonna get me a fork. Get next week. I didn't realize. I thought it was That is what it looks like. And it's just real good and sweet. That sugar on top. Usually it gets a little bit browner on the top. But big mama hungry for something sweet. So, and Fat Man cleaned the kitchen. He even did the hand dishes. Yeah. So, but yeah, next time you have some extra rice, don't throw it away. Make yourself some rice pudding.